name is Stacy. You may know me from Supermodo. I'm a friend of Bookbunk, who are doing great work improving libraries in Nairobi. This is a drawing I did in school. My teacher said it was very good and that I should save it. Do you have things like this that you want to save for the future? Well, I'm going to teach you how. It's called archiving. I learned it from my friends at Bookbunk. Archiving is a way of keeping things safe so that we can look at and learn from them from years and years to come. Like these books. Some of them are old. Older than me, older than my parents, and even older than my grandparents. I'm going to teach you to do this at home with items that are precious to you. I will also teach you digitization. It's the use of technology, like your phone or a camera, to save our precious memories from getting damaged so easily. Here are some things you need before we get started. 1. A room with balanced sunshine. It should not be too bright or too dark. 2. Gather your items on a flat surface. You can use a table or even the floor, as long as it's clean, dry, and one plain color. If you have edges like this, Open them up, but make sure you don't damage the thing you are archiving. 3. You need a phone camera. You can use yours or ask your parents to lend you theirs. Check that the camera has editing software. These are things like filters or cropping tools. Also that the camera settings are the highest possible, so that you get the clearest picture. Also, make sure the camera flashes off, so the picture does not look too bright. Remember, you want it to look like your original item and sometimes the flash can make colors look different. I'm going to put my phone on this tripod to keep it steady. With more practice, you can hold your phone in your hands. But if your hands are too shaky, use a tripod. Look into the phone to make sure your item is straight. Ready? Before you move on to the next picture, always check the pictures you've taken. This is called a quality check. One, framing. Can you see all the parts of your item, corner to corner? Two, light. Is the photo too bright or too dark? Three, clarity. Is the photo blurry? Zoom in to make the photo bigger to check details. I can see my name on the drawing. That means this is a clear photo. My photo passes the quality check. Does yours? Now, create a folder on your phone for different groups. I have saved this under drawings. That way, I'll always know where to find it. Remember, the purpose of an archive is to save memories, so you have to back up your photos in case something happens to your phone. You can create a copy by either saving them on a hard drive, saving them on a computer, saving them online using the internet, or even sending them to someone else. I'm sending my pictures to my mom. Done! Now that we've done that, do you think you can archive your own stuff at home? Can you teach your family members how to digitize their photographs and other things? We all need to save our stories in ways that live for years and years to come. Now, go get archiving!